I wanted to become a Microsoft Student Learn Ambassador, so I did what any sane aspirant would do. Hey Cortana! Hi guys, my name is Priyanshi Kathuria. Hello Priyanshi, how can I become a Microsoft Student Learn Ambassador? Hi guys, my name is Priyanshi Kathuria. Welcome on yet another informative video. Uh, I got selected as the Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador um, this year in August 2020. And ever since that, uh, I have received way too many questions on my LinkedIn asking me um, how to become an MSA, what kind of an application do I need, can you give me a referral, can you go through my application. Uh, and can you go through, um, I mean, what kind of a resume do I need to have? Like just all these questions into cross 100 and it's really difficult to answer each and every one personally. So I'm putting all these questions together in one video, which I'm sure will definitely help you. So it will be like a one, one on one guide on uh, how to crack the MSA program and trust me it's very simple to do that. So with this program uh, you need to have three major qualities. First have a very charming personality. You need to be a people's person to be a part of this program. Second you need to have some decent technical skills because you need to take these technical skills to the people in your college or in your community or maybe in your state. So the technical skills and the people's personality kind of goes hand in hand. And third, you need to have a feeling of providing community service. You know, uh, as I will talk talking about in the video, you need to uh, have this feeling where you want to give back to your friends and to the people who do not have the resources as you, but you want to like take it to a larger ground. So it should be like that. Benefits is that um, uh, of course it creates leaders as I talked about uh, it that you need to have a very vocal personality where you have your skills and you have resources, you have connections and you are willing to give it to a community and build a community of tech enthusiasts, you know, help people who are not as fortunate as you and uh, to help you in in that quest of yours, they will offer you a lot of resources, be it, uh, you know, some Microsoft professional uh, professionals help or a lot of study material that is available online. Uh, along with that, uh, as you become uh, an MSA, you will also get a lot of uh, resources in the sense a lot of study material credit I'll talk about that in the coming video and uh, as I just mentioned that all that comes in the form of guided paths in Microsoft Learn so I'll tell you what that actually looks like so uh, before that I'll tell you how the MSA dashboard looks like so I am an MSA what is different for me uh, when I log into my uh, Learn um, student ambassador program is that I have my own domain it's priyanshi.kathuriyadre students ambassador dot whatever so I have my own domain name unlike you guys so the moment you become an MSA you will get your own domain names this is what my uh, dashboard looks like this is not your dashboard if you are not sorry for that <laughs> this is not your dashboard if um, you're not an MSA uh, the MS learn so you will find this on your screen uh, on your dashboards as well so this is where most of your resources will come to you you have a lot of paths to study for now what are these paths is that you have a lot of domains where you can study in the sense you can uh, if you have interest in cloud that you can take up courses in Azure. If you have, uh, you know, interest in visualization, you can probably take up a, re uh, a course on Power BI, which is absolutely amazing. I've done that myself. You can take up courses on uh, data analysis. Like there are so many. That I, I, it just says that you have like 265 results, and apart from that, you have a list of uh, roles and domains that. Uh, it uh, you know it can cater to your specific needs you can also decide on the levels and all of this like this is open to most of the people but why it is more important uh, when you become an MSA is when you do courses when you complete certain parts you will get credits and only then you'll move on to the level of an 
alpha microsoft stone blond ambassador again i'll talk about the hierarchy of alpha beta and gold uh, in the coming videos but this is um, the open resources that you have uh from where you can you have access to office 365 uh this is uh, again a microsoft enabled uh platform uh, along with that you have snagit and uh, camtasia screen capture uh, the best part is that you get visual studio on the on enterprise subscription where you can create a uh, web applications you can also create like amazing fast and easy uh, mobile applications as well and the coolest part is that you get 150 dollars of monthly as your credit so obviously uh, like people uh, anyone who's coming from the cloud background they know that uh, be it gcp or like even uh, aws they all cost by the hour or by the resources that you buy so if you become an msa and when you're able to clear your alpha level you will get these 150 dollars per month which is amazing like you can really become like all uh, professional and pro with this because it helps you explore a lot event support is a uh, is kind of uh, i'll put that in aesthetics because event support really depends on the kind of event you're doing um also it's online or offline in terms of event support uh, uh microsoft does not exactly provide any certificates they uh, there was a thing where they were being misused so there is no more certification that is going around but yes they can definitely provide you with swag kits um to give to people like um stickers and pens and maybe some merch so that is kind of that comes into event support uh again uh engagement with cloud advocates and microsoft mvp that's uh that is the most valuable professionals or the microsoft uh, people along with that you get the microsoft milestone badges i'll show you how the profile for an msa looks on their official website in the coming um, in the coming ppt and along with that you can you know publish all of that on your linkedin profile the marketing stuff that you know most of us kind of live for uh this is something not a lot of people mention i've looked up a couple of videos so along with the materialistic stuff like in terms of resources that you get there is a huge access to ms community in terms of networking and growing now um teams is obviously a microsoft uh, you know enabled platform for conversations it's like a zoom or um, amazon chime so here we have our own um communities where i can actually sit down and you know connect with someone say in america so this is a uh, how great it is you know i can collaborate with literally anyone any other ms in the world sitting here so it gives me access to a lot of networking it gives me access to a lot of microsoft professionals who work and with that it gives me a lot of microsoft information you know there's a lot of documentation uh, how to go about conducting events or how to uh, reach out to a large audience based on major documentation and stuff like that so this is also a part of the msa that nobody kind of talks about but you have a complete world inside of it uh okay so how to apply now uh, the first step is through the, the uh, you know the official application that is available on the um, website and apart from that is it is the nomination procedure which i will talk in the next slide about so first i will talk about the um, how to apply via the website so i'll take you to the official application so the moment i click on apply now this is how the application looks and there are a couple of uh, notifications that you kind of need to say yes to uh, be sure that you're 16 plus enroll in a full time academic institution have valid identification i'll just say yes uh, to that uh, some personal information name where do you live all of that uh, you know put in your code phone number and all of that in then there is the academic information that, so it's like a full uh, in depth study of who you are you know the, because i as i mentioned previously this application is all they have you don't get the chance to sit down and have a one on one conversation with the microsoftians so this application is all you have so from this entire application the only one place which can make and break your application is the written sample part now the trick to this uh, written sample part is that there are three questions and the uh, uh, broken down into inspire 
tech and promote okay but out of all these three questions this suggests that at least one video must be provided in terms of a uh, one of answers must be provided in terms of a video okay because that helps them know about your communicational skills okay if you talk uh, about my personal uh, application how i went about it my two answers were video and one answer was written because i feel that talking is slightly more easy for me i feel i can express myself better it's just easier for me now that i have the option to either talk or write so i rather talk now uh, these three questions are very strategically uh, in, i would say put forward questions that mix your hr and technical interview uh, you know type questions so these all these three questions actually are a mixture of both the hr type question and the technical type question and i'll ask and i'll tell you why now the first question is what excites you about technology and how do you and what, and why do you want to help uh, students explore now the first part of it is what excites you about technology to be excited about technology you need to first have a mindset okay cloud is what inspires me because the 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 so the point is that you need to have some technical background only then you can be you know excited about technology so that is what they're looking for and when they ask you the other second part is why do you want to help your students explore this is where your hr part comes into because this is where they will test your community skills how is your um, what kind of a persona, persona do you have and what kind of values what kind of a uh, you know horizon are you looking for the moment you become an msa also do not uh, i would suggest do not try to lie on the application because they just kind of know they go through the entire process years almost like two three times in the same year uh, they have quarterly uh, they take uh, applications quarterly so try not to lie but make sure that the technology that you talk about that you're excited about you truly know uh, know it if you're talking about cloud you should know what cloud is if you're talking about ml you should know what ml is and then what part of ml you know there's so much in ml the k means this clustering this a priori i mean there's like just too many things uh, you know reinforcement learning so which part of ml excites you you should have specifications because the moment you become specific in your application they know okay this person is talking sense here and he is not you know just trying to go over the casual meaning of it and uh, teach now the second part is teach how would you take a technical concept and teach to a friend now again this is again a part of your technical and hr type for to know to teach a technical concept you first need to know a technical concept okay so so whatsoever topic you're saying maybe let's talk about cloud okay how would you teach that to a friend so if i have to answer how would i teach cloud to a friend i'll probably start off by saying that first i'll help my friend to go through some basic theory part and then i'll move on to a project based learning how will i do the project based learning i'll have i'll have my friend enroll to the gcp uh, platform where he will get some decent uh, one month credit credits as a uh, as a student and from there um, he can explore and you know uh, implement the knowledge that he has so this is uh, the process that you need to kind of follow yeah so you need to be very specific of how what is the concept or the you know work path that you're going to follow to help your friend learn and this can uh, i cannot tell you you know project based learning is the only way to do it it isn't you know you might uh, want your friend to go through a couple of videos and then uh, implement it you might go directly to the application path because application can the practical can the you know theory automatically comes so it it really depends on what kind of psych you use to help your friend uh, along with that the last uh, question is the most important and this is kind of the tie breaker for you it can just change the game now the promote part i would suggest that if you have any personal previous experience talk about it uh, when they're asking you how will you host an event and if you already are a part of any other technical community any other society in your college any previous engagements that you've done that has helped you to manage a large scale crowd 
talk about it right here because they want people who are not just technically sound but also have great management skills so they're looking for people who are great at techno management that is what you need to know okay so tell them that you know i was a part of the society just keep it super brief and you know i was able to uh, able to bring a crowd of 2000 kids these many registrations was it online offline whatever way you want to kind of look into it you can talk about any um, you know uh, a listed perks that you have maybe you're a part you're the president of some society and you can talk about so that i have a great uh, a great rapport with the teachers i have access to the college uh, email system so if there is an event that i am doing i can definitely tell you that i can have that mail circulated to the entire college via that system and i am i can say for sure that i can have great i have a great marketing team i have you know maybe i have a lot of facebook circles where i can share it so you can talk about a lot of social media marketing online offline like literally whatever you want to look into but make sure that you if you have experience uh hype it up in a certain manner because they they want people who are vocal who are smart and who have who really want to bring a change so that is what you need to think look uh, kind of think about also make sure that one of your answers is in the form of a video you can uh, upload that video on your drive and make sure that you paste the correct link from that uh, drive onto this uh, link to your video presentation part over here and just keep the answer part blank for that video okay moving on to the social media this is a uh, totally uh, like your personal branding part if you have any technical blog or any how to do videos if you uploaded on youtube uh, talk about your you can put in your twitter handle your linkedin uh, any any anything that you're doing um, that is that can add to your profile to your persona because when i am looking if i was an m you know if i was looking through your application this is all i have i will probably go through your linkedin profile and see okay this guy has done so many things and i can very simply cross check that with the answer that you've given so that is why i'm telling you try not to lie if you if you have a lot of experience it will show on your linkedin profile automatically or just any other platform that you've mentioned here so try not to lie make sure you get your answers proof read before you send the application in and just be true to yourself because that is literally all they want additional um, information any any technologies apart from what you already you know talked about if you're interested in put that here Is there anything else you would like to share with us anything that you further wish to kind of share with them is goes in there now moving on uh, to the nomination part so uh, nomination is a very tricky part and i'll tell you why because uh, if there is someone in your own college who is an existing msc and you know that person very personally and you have great links with that then you can probably go and tell that person yeah please give me a referral now give me a nomination but when you do not know an msc and if you send me a message saying hey can you give me a nomination from ns for msc i already have like hundreds of those kind of messages you need to give me a reason for why i need to give you a nomination because it is in my hands i'm already a part of a community and if i will give it, if i am giving you a referral i need to know that i am putting in the correct person into that community i hope you're getting my point so be subtle when you're asking someone over linkedin for a referral i would say that keep your message short and crisp but to the point also like don't try to keep it short and just forget how to be cordial you know just make sure that it it looks nice maybe you can attach a resume because uh, when someone sends me a resume along with their um, plea to give them a nomination it makes me feel okay the person has put in effort in the message and i'll probably go through your resume and i'll see okay should i give him a referral that is when i will think about it but if you're asking me hey give me a referral i will never give you a referral you need to give me a reason for why to give you a referral okay so make sure that you are cordial and uh, you uh, just don't uh, order the person to give you a referral okay it's, it's my it's like the msc's uh, like 
will to do it or not so make sure that you're worthy of it in the information that you provide in that so because if i look at your resume the second thing i'm going to do is look at your profile and if it's amazing i will give you a like nomination like why not so make sure that you market yourself correctly it's all about personal branding in that is the only game these are the okay so more i'm pretty sure almost no one has given you the information no one talks about these but uh, this is what my uh, this is my dashboard and this is how it looks i have the option to give you a nomination and uh, these are the kind of questions that i need to answer when i'm giving a referral to someone so how did i meet and what kind of engagement did i have with the nominee has he demonstrated any desire to impact with technology nomination uh, nominee uh, democracy impact and influence within their community so it's all about uh, three questions pretty much similar uh, on some grounds but uh, again uh, very varied uh, if you look at the um, you know an eagle eye view so again uh, it's all about personal branding how how great are you in terms of talking your soft skills your interpersonal skills and how great my rapo is with you because if you become an msm in my very college then i probably tie up with you and it it is all about again personal branding so make sure that that kind of works out good for you if you do not know the msa personally so that is all we have uh i'll kind of okay no you can you guys can see so after you uh, get selected what is the procedure to follow so the moment you get selected you will get a mail first of all which will tell you hey congratulations you've got selected and then there will be a couple of steps to follow within that mail it's pretty simple you just have to follow that so they'll give you a link when you have to go and you have to set up your profile on the official uh, learn student ambassador so you can actually go on to their website and you can google any of the existing msas and all of them have a profile which looks very similar to this i uh, am currently in alpha msa i got recruited in august it's october sometime right now so within 2 months i have achieved the alpha level i am working towards the beta hopefully we'll get it towards this end of 2020 um so i'll quickly take you through um, how to take up these results you know you will receive an onboarding mail as i just uh, said you have to follow the step set up your profile and with that you have to follow the uh, microsoft teams community which i had mentioned in the previous slides about the entire teams community you'll have the access to it all of that will be very much clear in the um in the mail that you receive so yeah these are some couple of steps put your photograph all your uh, you know give a sl- small introduction certificates if it's alpha beta gold will be present here you can uh, put in links to all your social media handles so whoever wants to connect with you can along with that i'll just quickly move myself to the yeah so you can guys can see the screen properly yeah so different milestones uh, i've been talking about milestones alpha beta and gold ever since the starting so i'll just make this hierarchy clear so when you become an msa the moment you get selected you have zero stars you have no stars you have to complete certain number of uh, visual learn paths that i discussed in the starting of the video and when you're able to get that certain credit is when you'll get the alpha star so with the moment you become an alpha uh, msa you will get the 150 dollar as your credits the visual studio enterprise subscription the uh, you know the student uh, ambassador.com domain name as i mentioned in the very starting of the video and uh, the snagit and camtasia uh, software and mtc certification exam voucher all of this is like a part of the package that comes with alpha now if you have to become a beta you have to host a event now uh, initially i mean ideally the event has to had to be offline uh, in schools and like colleges but now that uh, we have a different situation if you watching this video like in october 2020 or onwards then there has been there is a huge pandemic that happened and most of the things are moving online so you can probably have an online uh, event as well like this what i'm doing is kind of an online event so uh, if you do the moment you do an online event you will be promoted to the beta level now with beta is that you get the all the uh, benefits with alpha come with it you will get a swag kit 
really amazing uh, you'll have a couple of maybe a bottle a merch couple of stickers laptop stickers uh, some ports some pen drives it's pretty cool event support again the event that you're doing if there is somewhere where how i if microsoft can help you in any subtle manner they will if there is uh, some competition or hackathon or something that you're um, conducting they'll give you some um, maybe uh, some things to distribute to the participants uh, you know some swag kits and stuff and access to the ambassador summit so there is mentorship also and the uh, ambassador summit is it happens um, I'm not quite sure about it but I think it happens annually I'm not again sure about it I'll have to look into it so yeah all of this comes with that now gold is the ultimate level um, for this program and it is when you go above and beyond serving your local community maybe the moment you get out of your own community and you collaborate with across communities maybe on the state level or the national level so something that is extremely different and if you reach out to a large mass of people gold will be yours with that um, alpha and beta benefits of course come with it access to special events and speaking engagements so microsoft is a really huge company of course i mean it is the dream job dream company for like most of us like who's coming from engineering and it backgrounds and they have a lot of events uh, so you will get the you know backstage access and maybe just the uh, attendee access to it which nobody mostly not all people get program leadership opportunities uh, you might get an opportunity to go and intern at microsoft also participate in pilot programs get your uh, mentorship from uh, mvp as i mentioned in the very start and you might also get uh, maybe invited to the mvp program because you might be able to uh, become a most valued professional you will be able to guide other uh, you know incoming msas so it's like it's 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 like a um, i would say it's like a journey you have to climb a ladder it's not that you got selected as the msa and it's the end of the world no if you want to be there you have to work and that work should show and that the work will only show if you have the feeling of community service within you so again do not lie on your application get it proofread by someone and be true to yourself and trust me you do not need a nomination you do not need to beg anyone for a nomination because your application if you think your resume can stand out i, I did not have a nomination i still made it so you don't need a nomination i'm telling you just focus on your application no ma- doesn't matter what is the content that you have just present it rightly in the most precise manner get it proofread by a teacher friend parent whoever you close to and you're good to go and uh, if you have uh, heard me this far if you heard me blabber this far so well thanks for watching uh, if you have any questions please connect with me over linkedin i'll provide my linkedin uh, link in the description box below uh, you can you know write to me on mail or this is a little bit of my um, resume uh, i am an msa 2020 i just got recruited this year i am an uh, i'm a existing uh, alexa uh, I'm sorry I'm a current Alexa student influencer 3.0 batch 3.0 again I got recruited this year I'm currently an IEEE member from the North Cap University I've served as an ex ISCO for Delhi IT and I'm currently also part of the Women Tech Network so if there's anything that you uh, need uh, information about if you want to collaborate with something let me know hit me up and thanks for watching I hope this video was helpful and I hope that you get selected 